Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Fortunate Z. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again today. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment down below. On today's video, we are going to be doing a hair installation and hair review from this hair that I got on Amazon. So I'm just gonna be telling you guys about how the hair is and how it feels and you guys are gonna see me install it for the first time ever so yeah stay tuned <laughs> installing the hair today um at this camera guys i have never installed a lace front before i've never cut the lace myself so this is going to be my first time and i'm going to be doing all of this on camera so if it doesn't come out right you guys got to see how it all went down and yeah but fingers crossed i've watched a lot of videos and tutorials on how to do this so fingers crossed this really does go well so this is the hair this is the package that the hair came in i got this hair from amazon and this is rulinda hair so it comes in a box like this i already took the hair out i already took the hair out this is what the hair looks like and they already this is 1b slash 27 this is the color 1b slash 27 and this is a brazilian remy straight hair and this is 20 inches so i don't know if you guys can see it but the hair is pre-plugged the hair is pre-plugged and everything um baby hair is already done and stuff like that so yeah this is the hair that we're going to be installing today this is the packaging that it came in so inside the box it comes in a bag like this like it comes in a bag like this and with the net inside this is what the hair comes in with the net inside and then they gave me like these lashes they look very plastic and like i don't think i'll be wearing those lashes definitely gonna be to tossing this out because i'm not gonna be wearing them and then they also gave me a wee cap there's two pieces inside of this wee cap and it looks light so i'm definitely not going to be using these either or i might use them but i might just like dab a bit of foundation to make sure that it blends with my skin tone but yeah i'm not going to be using these today toast that out and then i got myself recaps from amazon like this is on the side separately so yeah let's get started i didn't control my hair because i don't know how to so we're just going to be using a wig cap to just um, flatten my afro down. Oh, this hurts. I'm going to be looking down the whole time, you guys. I'm looking at my mirror right here and I finally purchased the mirror. Remember on the last video that I did, I was like, oh, I need to invest in the mirror. So yeah, baby girl finally got to it. Oh, this is the inside out. Get in there. It's definitely not flat, but... This will have to do. I usually see some people like doing this. And I'm going to be using my nail scissor to like cut this out right here. So I've usually like seen people do this. I guess it's like to open for the ears to make sure the wig doesn't. I don't know. I guess the cat doesn't like roll back up or something. I hope I did this right. But hey, let's go. 
um, and then I'm gonna spray my got to be glue hairspray over here to like I guess to create a scalp illusion type thing oh my goodness Yo, I am so scared. <laughs> I'm gonna go again in with the second layer. Okay, now that it's dry-ish, I'm gonna cut off the part that doesn't have the lace and let's see what happens. Okay, guys, like I said, please don't forget, this is my first time doing this, and I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to be looking, but, I, but, let's move, y'all, let's move, and let's get on with this baby right here, let me brush it out real quick, the hair feels really nice, you guys, if I must say, the hair feels really nice, my hair, like, Stiff way, stiff way, like look at that. Stiff way, like this hair is is that girl. But when I got this hair, right? Like I wanted blonde, like I literally wanted blonde blonde, you know, blonde, 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 bleach blonde, like um I'll try and like instant a picture for you guys to see the blonde I was going for. So when I got this hair, like, I was really disappointed because this is not the color that I wanted, you know? So, but now, I'm gonna have to do with what I have. I really wanted a blonde, wanted blonde hair, like, if you follow me on, on social media, I've been posting a lot of girls with like blonde hair and stuff and that's the kind of hair that i was going for and this is giving me like a gingery copper tone you know it's not really giving me the blonde that i was going for so yeah oh, i need those clips i don't have them okay since i don't have those clips to hold like hair back i need to invest on those as well so i'm gonna use these right here to like just secure it at the back. Let me just put in. Oh, I didn't show you guys what it looks like inside. Sorry about that. So this is what the hair looks like inside. It has um, pins to secure it. One, two, three, and four. So I'm just gonna like secure it in real quick. Cause we don't want this hair to be falling off. Not that I'm going anyway. But, you know, just secure the girl, just secure the babe. Okay. 
Now comes the dangerous part. <laughs> well, not the dangerous part, but the part I am not looking forward to. And that is the part where I have to cut the lace off. On camera. Should I go off camera and cut this? No, let me do it here. So we can all learn together and you guys can learn from my mistakes if I make any, but... I don't think I'm going to be making mistakes today. I feel confident. I feel really confident in going in this. So I'm going to make like a line. Wait. Should I glue this down first? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to glue my hair down first and then I'm going to cut the lace off. Or should I? Okay, I'm real confused. Mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue it down first. Yeah. So I'm gonna spray like the glue on my finger, and I'm gonna place it right here, just around the the cap that we put. I'm gonna go again. Okay, I'm gonna now place it down. You're so yucky guys, so yucky, yeah, I know. So scared. Another good thing about this week, it already comes pre-planned pre with um, bleached knots. So it's really like easy, it's like ready to install, you know. It's like ready to install besides the color like i'm not mad about anything i just really wanted my hair color like the blonde that i was looking for so if you are looking for a blonde wig this is definitely not the hair to go for because honey it's not blonde okay like it's not blonde it sure did look blonde this is ombre ombre brown or whatever my hands are so sticky right now because it was wild child okay I feel like this glue is holding its stay um, so we're gonna now go ahead in and cut the legs. You know what happened? Some of the lace is now like on my skin that I'm supposed to cut out. So now I'm trying to rip it off and it's like painful. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but right here, some lace is like stuck onto my forehead. I'm just cutting it up into small sections so it's like easier to cut because, who child? Ooh.
another thing you guys that i'm noticing about this hair is that it's shedding a lot like hair is falling onto my lip and I don't understand the way the hair is coming from. I guess it is from when I was trying to keep it up and all of that. And like this hair just falling onto my lap. And now, three months down the line, this video is going to be so light because the hair is literally shaded off. And like when I'm cutting, I'm trying to use like a zigzag line so that it looks natural because my hair is not round, you know, it's trying to make like a natural hairline. I'm scared to cut this off, you guys, because oh, uh, this is just this is giving me so much anxiety right now. Okay, I cut that off. Whew, okay, okay, let me go this side. Let me go this side because oh I ran away from this side because of this blue that is happening here. Oh gosh. Everywhere I go, I'm just like Okay, in the future, I don't think I'm going to be putting the wee cap fast because now I can see the wee cap right here and it's like a lump, it's like a bump. I don't think I'm going to be doing that in the future. But like I said, this is mistakes you shouldn't make when you're spoiling the wee cap. Okay, let's cut this part off. We're gonna cut this part off right now. And hopefully this goes well. I need tissue. Hook. 
come there's like a lot of hair that came from this side but I didn't cut off any hair whatsoever this side did I do something wrong on one of the sides so I'm gonna have to like glue it down a bit more right here right oh wait I think there's a bit more that I need to cut off let me see In the future, things that I would change about this week installation, I would definitely not cut do that whole cutting lace thing, I mean cap thing where I put the glue and cut off the cap. Definitely not going to do that and definitely not going to cut the lace on my head. Like I'm not going to peel it down first and cut it because now I'm having all kinds of regrets child. I'm having all kinds of regrets. Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh, this hair sheds a lot. So I'm gonna cut some more here because my ear is not like my ear yeah, is like this is sitting on top of my ear and that's not normal I'm scared I feel like it's a huge chunk that I'm cutting off but I'm making a point right you don't grow hair on your ear and this is not supposed to be here oh but sorry I'm so scared More hair. Okay. <laughs> Yo, uh -uh, this is. So much, this is so stressful this is so stressful i did not think it was going to be like this i thought it was going to be this stressful okay but wow okay this is a lot of hate i don't know i'm scared i feel like i'm losing a lot of hate i saw this video on on instagram i don't know if you guys saw it but like of like South African influencers doing like if you remember the don't rush challenge don't rush slow touch na 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 but this time they were like doing it with the got to be glue hairspray I guess they're like promoting the brand the glue and everything like that and oh my gosh the girls are like one minute they have their natural hair on and then the next they glued it down with this hair and like it, they don't show the struggle they go through, hey? They do not show the struggles they are going through when they're putting this. But this clue, guys, this clue right here is the gal. It is that gal. It's not the girl, it's the gal. It is that Genshin. I'm so selfish, I can't help it. I want you all to myself. D uh, 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 uh. I don't know what people do next. Should I straighten my hair, then lay my edges, and then, oh, lay my baby hairs and then straighten it? You know what? I want to straighten my hair. I'm going to straighten my hair first, and then I'll lay my edges after my baby hairs and everything. That makes sense to me. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Turn this on. Okay, well, since this is like 
getting warm and everything, I might as well, I might as well need them. Should I? Uh uh. So you yeah. have like um, alcohol here. I'm gonna put it on a paper towel to like heal up some glue that's on my forehead. Remember, like there was lace stuck on my forehead. And I feel like my forehead looks like a mess right now. So I'm gonna use like this to like wipe it out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But don't let the alcohol touch your lace because alcohol can lift up I, I like I'm using it to wipe off the glue so the alcohol in the alcohol on the paper towel can lift up my lace and this would have been a whole joke like I said this already had like baby hairs plugged and stuff like that you know what? let me straighten my hair first because that's going to give me a peace of mind, honestly speaking. So yeah, that's going to give me a peace of mind. So I'm going to straighten my hair. Firstly, I'm going to put some Keratin Smooth Serum onto my hair just to make it nice and silky smooth. Before just a few drops. And then just put it on my hair. Oh gosh. This thing smells so good, you guys. You should definitely get on it. This is from Tresemme. It smells so effing good. Okay, now I want to do the baby hairs. <laughs> you know. Let me let that get a bit more warm. Oh, and I can do a middle part. So yeah, I was thinking of doing a free part, but might as well do a middle part since we're here. Since we are here, let's do a middle part. See the lace that I put underneath, but like it looks natural. It looks like my natural scalp, you know. So putting that wee cap was definitely a plus for me because it looks so natural. So I'm gonna do my baby hairs first. I already, I'm thinking, yeah. Let me start with my baby hairs actually. Let me start with my baby hairs. I don't know how to make baby hairs. Just with this, you know. Let me straighten it, man. Let me because okay. <laughs> I feel like once I straighten it, I'm not gonna do my baby hairs, and I really want baby hair. Since I'm gonna do a middle part, let's do baby hairs. I'm gonna be using my mousse here from from the hair store. Like I bought it for like three dollars at the African American hair store, and that's the what I'm going to be using too for my baby hair. Also, another disclaimer, I don't know how to do baby hair, isn't it? That's why I was shying away from it this much. But Since this is going to be a middle part style, we're just going to put like baby hairs here and not a lot at the, yeah, you know what, like I'm getting annoyed already. 
because I don't know how to do this and I'm getting frustrated. But that's why we're here, right? We are here to learn together and practice makes perfect. I'll practice on how to do my baby hairs and So I'm just gonna tie it with this so that the baby hairs that I made, the baby hairs, because that ain't no baby hair child. That was, I don't know, that was a joke. The baby hairs that I attempted to make are like underneath here. So I'm gonna try and lay them. In the meantime, <gasps> my favorite part, straightening. This is on 400 Fahrenheit. I don't know if that's too much. I think that's too much. I hope I don't bend this here. Okay, no. That was my lucky story. Okay, even though this was not the color that I wanted, I'm starting to fall in love with this brass, gold, blonde, whatever this color is. I'm starting to fall in love with it because I was even now thinking of bleaching it more to get it to my blonde, the blonde that I wanted originally. But you know what? It's not that bad, and I feel like it's complementing my skin tone a lot. It's complementing my skin tone, and a year ago, or uh, like two years ago, I wouldn't have. I ever imagined myself with this full color. I would have never imagined myself with this full color. But now, actually, I'm loving it. I love the fact that it's ombre, like it's start, the roots start so dark, and then they actually go down to this beautiful color. I am loving that. Obsessed with it. Let's get in there. And it feels full, you guys. Man, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but it's it's very full like i love this hair Ooh, i'm so in love and it was definitely not love at first sight it was definitely not love at first sight but warming up to it yo uh, uh, this hair it's shitting coming off baba yes sus. it's coming off okay my hot comb decided not to work today i don't know what happened but Baby girl does not want to turn on, so we're gonna compromise. I'm not sure how long it has been since I tied up my hair, but I wanna see. Like, oh, I'm gonna take this off if it doesn't, if it's not set ish. Next time, I'll keep it for longer. We can definitely work on that, but I mean child, it's not a trend smash, okay? We can definitely work on this. Okay, I'm gonna put, put like some mousse over here to try and like lay the hair down. And then, I don't know why I did that. 
because that definitely did not help. Oh, remember I didn't like contour my hair underneath, so you can see that some that bounce of my hair right here. Next time it will be flat, flat, ayo. Okay, that helped me on some flat, flat stuff. So for now, for today, we are looking cute, honey. Looking hella cute. I love it. Love it. You know what? Now I want to put on some lip gloss. I want to put on some lip gloss because, oh child, I'm feeling myself right now. Ooh, this hair is giving me all kinds of. Ooh. <laughs> I wish I was going somewhere because, wow, what do you even mean? Okay, Rulinda hair from Amazon definitely came through with this unit. I'm not mad. And I'm not mad. And and it was so cheap, it was like I think 80 something. It was definitely like very cheap for for like the quality that I got and everything. The only thing that I'm mad about y'all is the is the shedding. Like why am F is hair falling off? Or is it because it's processed? I mean, it was bleached and stuff to get this color, I reckon. So. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hi. How are you? Hey. <laughs> okay, this was fun. This was fun yeah it was fun it was fun okay this is the end of my video if you made it this far thank you so much for watching till the end and don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below to let me know what your thoughts are on this video thank you see you next time